Hey you guys and welcome again to the Hack That Now video channel. This will be a very short video about the Sonos Play 1. I can just move it around and have it anywhere in my room stacked. This is a step up converter. You apply any voltage between around 4 to 20 volts and you can get 24 volts as output. So I'm gonna now outputting 5 volts over here from the USB power supply and I will get the output directly to the Sonos Play 1. So you can use any USB cable that you have left in your home. I'm gonna cut it over here and then we can get the cables from inside. Let's try to get the insulation removed. We have four cables and we need two of them. We only need the black and a red one and we don't care about the white and green one so I'm gonna cut it out right over here. So that's gone. And also I'm cutting away the shield part. Let's remove that too. So now we only have red and the black cable. So here we have the step up converter. This is the input, this is the output. And we have the USB cable now. And I have to remove the insulation from these two parts. And then apply a little bit solder on this part so it's easier soldered on the PCB just a little bit that's more than enough and now we're gonna apply it to the step up converter so the red cable goes to the input plus you see the plus sign over there just heat it up a little bit and it's applied and now we go to the other side and do exactly the same over there. Oh. So. so I've attached the USB cable directly to the switching mode power supply. And this is the input where I've connected the switching mode power supply to. And I will now connect it to this mobile power supply. It's fully charged right now. I'm gonna apply it in the socket. And now we should measure 5 volts at the input. Let's check. That is 5 volts. And at the output we will have a higher output voltage. It is 24 volts. If you buy the same uh, from eBay, you will have to adjust the trimmer on this side to match the output voltage. So I would like to show you that by using this trimmer you can adjust the output voltage. As you can see on the right, we can go lower and we can also go higher. We require 24 volts so I will adjust it accordingly to 24 volts. And now I'm gonna attach this output directly to the Sonos power supply. So I mount this cable from the Sonos, first disconnect the power supply and connect these wires to the output of the switching mode power supply. So I've now connected the step up converter to the output and goes to the power supply of the Sonos and I will connect it to the battery pack. We can by the way also add a measurement source so we will be able to see how much current is flowing. So it's now connected to the Sonos so we do a double check and see if there is 24 volts on this side. Yes, 
that is. So the Sonos is now connecting to the application. Let's see if we can play some music now. As you can see the power is also increasing. And we'll increase it even more. I can't go any I cannot increase the volume more than this because the current will exceed the power supply as you can hear. So at average music volume it's consuming around 1 amps at 5 volts. This unit is stepping up to 24 volts and while it's playing we can double check the voltage on the output. And it's 24 volts. So this was my uh, part about how to connect the Sonos Play 1 directly to your mobile power source. And you can use any battery from this side. Uh, if you like these videos, please give me a thumbs up and I hope to see you again. Bye!